I'm gonna piss a lot of people off with this. Love it. You look so silly. You look so silly. If you die, a cat will eat you. Getting head at any no, cost. No, no, no. And that's my unpopular opinion. And um, I don't really care if anybody agrees or not. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Tiff and Flip Show. I'm Tiffany Jenkins. And I'm Flip Adam. On this podcast, we discuss everything from parenting, addiction, recovery, even the Declaration of Independence. Oh, my gosh. I stole that once. Me and my buddy, <laughs> Nick. It was crazy. Dang. Four scores and seven years ago. Hey, I know that's right. What does that mean? I couldn't tell you. Okay. No idea. Anyway, so this podcast, we really um, don't have it. I messed. We have some exciting things. We do. Okay. <laughs> we do. I was going to not sell it. Okay. I was going to say, we have no clue what we're doing because I effed up and we were supposed to record Thursday and I forgot. And now we, we knew we wanted to record. We just don't know what. But I have something printed that I think will be fun and controversial. Oh, love that. Let's do a life check-in first, though. Okay. What's been going on with you? Nothing. The gym. <laughs> Excuse me. I got a gym membership. I don't know if you guys looked at me and were like, oh my God, she looks so much stronger or like if that hasn't kicked in yet. But I've been three times and I am at an all women's gym. Yeah. And I love it because the base age there is 70. <laughs> and I'm, I am obsessed. Like I do not feel threatened. I do not feel embarrassed or ashamed, which is, has been an area of concern for me my yeah. whole life. Why are you looking at my hairline? No, I... <laughs> With this again. I just wanted to tell you beforehand, you have one black speck on like your eyelid. Is it this one? Yeah, you got it. Perfect. What a good flip. You're killing it today. I'm trying. Thank you. You're welcome. Anyway, I'm I'm using muscles I didn't know existed. Mm. Hopefully you don't need me to walk anywhere today because my legs are fine. <laughs> <laughs> They're dead. Mm. I forgot something upstairs. It was one of my kids. That's where they live now. They're That's stuck it. there. Speaking of, do you remember when I left my kid at the basketball game today? I wasn't going to bring that up. <laughs> were you not? It, no, when we were walking through the parking lot and getting in the car, and you're like, wait a minute. No, no, no. I wasn't like, wait a minute. I, I mean, continue to throw yourself under the bus, please. Listen, I was in the car, and my boyfriend's like, are you forgetting a kid? And I'm like, <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> that's exactly what i did and i ran um because uh whatever yeah i forgot i had him i yeah. forgot it was my day yep yep even though you were at the basketball game i was i was there i was there it's because chloe wasn't there yeah. so i i i thought i was kid free yeah um great congrats by the way thank you thank you that was an intense game yeah coach flip got very angry oh and tried to fight a child and a referee. We had to hold him back. Yeah, things got pretty heated. No, no, but I, I do, I do get mad. Yeah, he got heated. I realized that, like, I don't think I should. I love coaching. I don't know if I should be coaching little kids because a majority of the kids there, like, they'll be in the middle of a basketball game and they'll be like, "Ooh, butterfly!" Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I'm like, dead serious. Yeah. Because, like, at that age, I was super into sports, and, like, I was in it. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I was, like, focused. Right. So you can't comprehend. Yeah. Yeah. I think your team is really good. Oh, my God. We got a really good team. We got a really good—I just came from the football game. We won 18-0 to zero against uh, the second-best team behind us. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, so I don't, I'm cool. noticing a trend. I mean— it's your I'm coach. not going to say that it's my coaching, but <laughs> just I mean, saying. both teams are undefeated. So, yeah. And in first place, but you know. That's what I'm saying. I didn't know if we wanted the pinky up. I should have <sighs> let you have that moment. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, you um, and my wife have been killing it. Um, yeah, me and uh, my two besties went and signed up at the gym together for accountability because individually we never would have made it there. And we did it, and it's been so much fun. And you know what I like about it is I'm, I'll do like f four reps, and I'll be like, I'm good. Are you good? She's like, I'm good. Let's go. And like we go to the next thing. Like yeah. we're not overdoing it because it always seems so daunting and overwhelming for me. But to have somebody who's at an equal fitness level who's like, this. <laughs> 
let's go sit in the sauna. It's been really great. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. We are. And I've been eating healthy too. Like it carries over when you work out. You're like, I don't want to eat yeah. Taco Bell. So I'm just, I'm feeling very optimistic and I'm looking forward to seeing how strong I can get. That's so exciting. Please nobody clip that together with the 7,000 other times I've said that in my life. Please. That'll be so embarrassing. You remember the workout video you just did? Not like six months ago? You were like working out and then like you were filmed it and then you overdid it and you couldn't walk for like a week. No. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was the last time I worked out. Yeah. yeah. You guys are, uh, you guys got a good, good thing going. Good momentum. Yes. How about you? Anything new and exciting before we get into what we're doing? No, no. Um, you start, want- started my social media pages. <laughs> That's a big deal. That is a big deal. Where can we find you? Everywhere. Only fans. Sorry. Um, everywhere. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. I mean, like, what's your... Flip. Dot Adam. We're just going to put, put it. Can we put it? Yeah. Can we put it in the... Do a cool hand thing. We're going to put it in the... In the Ring. We're going to put it in the, the thing. That's inappropriate. Well, you said OnlyFans, so I figured... Oh, I was, okay. Uh, figured I was going with it. Um, but that has been um, super cool. Super cool. I mean, I don't want to brag but i basically quit my job because i have like 800 followers on facebook now so <laughs> i told my boss to shove it it's so cool yeah no it's, it's been super cool and people have been reaching out and um it's been such a wild ride you know what i mean it's been a long time coming yeah i know and we're eleven thousand on facebook and we're almost at eleven thousand on youtube and i don't know what's going on anymore me neither it's crazy we're so grateful for you so excited you keep tuning in even though you have no clue what you're tuning in for and we love that yeah you like to live life on the edge like us yeah why do i sound like the crib keeper you know who my boyfriend said i sounded like who you know on Monsters Inc., that lady with the glasses? Yeah. Why why are you covering your mouth? Huh? It looks like So, I mean, question, were you guys like fighting? No, but I was like, oh, I don't wanna do it. <laughs> you sound just like it. That's what he said. And I'm like, who? He's like the dinosaur with the pearl <laughs> necklace and the red lipstick. And yeah. I'm like, first of all, Fuck off. She's like 80. And then he played it for me. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God. (laughs) (laughs) You sound just like her. I know. That's wild. I know. Okay, so I thought today what we could do is, Flip doesn't know anything about this because I just wanted to do it because I feel like it'll be juicy and controversial. Yes. We're going to go through unpopular opinions and we're going to say whether or not we agree or disagree. (laughs) Woo. Oh, boy. How do you feel about that? Are you okay I love it? it. I love it. Why not? All right. Did you have anything else planned? Nope. All right. And I will I will put us in this position to get canceled. It's long overdue. Now, here's the thing about these unpopular opinions. This is from Parade.com, and there's 175 of them. We're not going to go over all of them. Um, I don't know whose opinions these are, but I believe they polled their audience for the most unpopular opinion. Lord knows you love a good poll. And there is no like backup explaining why. So I'm just going to read what it is wow. and you see whether or not you agree or disagree. And if, if we want to elaborate, we will. Okay. Close relationships with your exes are a healthy part of life. I need context. No, no, they're not. What about if you have children? That's different. That's why I said I need context. Are right. we talking, I mean, are there kids involved? But I think uh, if there's not kids involved for what? For what? What's, right. What's what's the point of the relationship? I know, but isn't it kind of sad that this person, not that this is personal to me or an experience that I have had, but this is just what came to mind when you said that. You get so close with somebody. Yep. You share everything. They become your best friend. And then if you break up, they're banished. Yeah, no, it's weird. And it's always weird like in friend groups because oh. like they get, you know, one person gets like the friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think once you see somebody naked, that's it. That's it. That's it. You can't be friends anymore after that. Well, I mean, it's just there's 
That's fair. I, I just I don't I don't see how you well I don't see how you could if you were in another relationship. If you guys were just both like single and wanted to be friends, all right, cool. Right. And, and there's listen, props to those people. There's like people that can like just break up with somebody and they're like cordial and cool and like friendly and like, oh, I wish you the best. And I'm like, what is that? Yeah, I feel like they never really liked that person. Yeah. Because if you really like somebody, you don't wish them the best. No, I want you to die. Well, I'm, of boredom. That's that's not what I was going to say, Flip. Oh. That's very extreme. I was going to say you want them to look for you in every partner that they ever have ever again. Oh, yeah. No, that's what I meant by die. Okay. Ooh, this is a controversial one. It's better for some couples not to have children. Oh, yes. I agree. Oh, God, yes. Listen, yes. Emphatic. Yes. Good word. Political correctness is killing free speech. Uh, I mean, is there really such a thing as free speech anymore? Did you know you're not supposed to call uh, homeless people homeless anymore? You're supposed to call them unhoused? Like you can't like no. free, free speech. Yeah, it's like a thing. Uh, free speech. Free speech is completely gone. Yeah, I don't know about political correctness or whatever, but I do think as somebody who does comedy and is in the public eye, there are things that I said in 2016 on video that I could not get away with saying today. There's things you've said last week that you can't get away with saying today. <laughs> okay, what what is political? Because I've used that like oh well. I mean, if we're being politically correct, and I don't even know if I know what that means. I don't know what the word, I'm, I could give you what, an idea of what I think it is, but I don't know politically. It's, what it has it to do? It doesn't have to do with like politics. Yeah. It has to do Which with like. Which is weird. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I agree. It's, it's getting harder and harder to not offend people. Everybody's just going to have YouTube channels and doing, they're going to be m miming. <laughs> yeah, that's the and only way. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. Do you think. Money can buy happiness. Oh, you know where I stand on this. Go on. No, absolutely not. And I always, always, always thought that whoever said money can't buy you happiness just doesn't have enough. That is how I lived my entire life until my daughter was born and she was in the NICU and she was on a vent to help her breathe because her lungs were underdeveloped and... I'm talking to the doctor and I said, do we need to bay flight her somewhere? Like, where do, do we need to bring in a specialist? Like, what can we do? And the doctor looked at me and said, no, I don't think you understand that all of that is irrelevant. It's up to her now. And I was like, not that like I had money to fly in a specialist or, you know, any of that, but like, but it didn't matter if you did. Yeah. It was like desperation mode and like that experience, um, put everything into perspective, like, and really got me thinking like money truly doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. Is it nice? Yes. Do I like buying stuff? Of course. Do I like nice things? Yes. Do I like fancy dinners? Yes. Like I, I, I like all that shit, but. I promise you, for instance, we just went to that nice dinner out in Vegas, mm -hmm. right? I'm not going to remember the meal itself, but I would remember the experience. Right. I would remember you, like, insulting the guy who brought us the bread and you asking 376 times if it was free. I'm so glad that you remember that forever. You know what I mean? I feel like he was delighted with my appreciation. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know if he was delighted that you had to reiterate like free. I just want to free. I'm Are we talking about I don't have to pay anything? Because okay. I didn't order this, but I mean, if you're saying it's free, then I would definitely like some. I mean, it smells delicious, but you said free. We might have different definitions of free. Yeah, I'm not trying to go back to jail. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to get caught up in some kind of scheme where they present bread and then you, you, uh, as free and it's not. I'm not. I'd go to jail taking, for that bread. That was some good it bread. It was good bread. God bless. Every time I have papers and I do this, I feel so. News reporter? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> That's a. What are your thoughts? You can't just have me answer oh, it. Oh, okay. Uh, no, mo no. More money, more problems. Mm. Without a doubt. And people get mad at me every time I say that, and that's fine. Um, 
but as somebody who not too long ago, uh, you know, had just moved into an apartment after living in a halfway house with zero dollars and I moved into a tiny apartment and the one, what I had to worry about was paying rent, paying water, paying electricity and making sure that my kids were safe. And then I bought a house. Yeah. And now I got to worry about HOA and quarterly fees and the water bill and the gas bill. And I just got, did you see my disconnection notice? They're going to put a lien on my house because of some backflow preventer thing that I'm supposed to, what, buy? I'm supposed to, I don't know what that means. Mm-hmm. And then it's just like the more you have, the more responsibility you have, and then the more fear you have of losing it. That's what happened with me. I went from having nothing to having something, and then I became like cripplingly afraid of losing it again. And now I am losing it again, and I'm like, I'm good. Like if I go back to having nothing, that'll be my wheelhouse. Like that's what I grew up with. That's all I know. So for a long time, it was my worst fear, and now I just don't give a shit. Love that. Yeah. I mean, I give a shit. Let's be real. But I mean, I'm not, I'm not, it's not the worst case scenario for me anymore. It's not all consuming. It's not end all be all. Yeah. And let's face it. When the zombie apocalypse comes, none of that really matters anyway. Where are they? I don't know, dude. They need to hurry it up. Oh my God. Marriage is more about business and less about love. Mm. I don't like that. I don't like it. But I don't like that. I was just talking about this with a friend who went through a divorce and recovery. And it's like this day and age, people get married, I feel like just on a whim. And they're so quick to divorce. Yeah. And it's like, you know, what's wrong with those people? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I just. Oh, I, man. Looks like a tiger claw in my boob flip. Why'd you? Um, I just, I feel, I feel like it shouldn't. I feel like it shouldn't be. I feel like it probably is for a lot of people. I feel like it shouldn't be. Is this more cash? (laughs) What? (laughs) This position. No, it looks uncomfortable. It does because I feel, I just want to look skinny. I didn't hear anything you said. I know. I'm really sorry. No, it's okay. Um, I don't feel that. I feel like marriage should be about love. Of you course, know, it should. Know. But is it? I don't know. I think it might be. It might be swinging a little bit more towards the business side. Bills. Who's doing what? You do the dishes. I'll do this. It's very transactional. Yes. Do you want to read some? I haven't yeah. seen all of them. Cool. 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 Math and science are the most fun and easy subjects in school. What is this? What category is this? Funny? Uh, Funny, unpopular. So here's the thing. I am running for politics. I don't know what I need to run for, but I think the curriculum in schools need to change. Because this day and age, like the archaic, like let's, let's call it for what it is. Algebra, why? Why? Literally. (laughs) Why? (laughs) Right? Get it? Yeah. Because of the X. Yeah. And the Y. Yeah, that was good. Thank you. That was a smart joke. Thank you. I felt it. Yeah. I didn't want to let it slide. I feel like that would be written on the Big Bang Theory. I never watched it. Wow. That surprises me. Um, Because you sound just like um, Sheldon. And um, the. like, unless you're going to be an astrophysicist, like, you don't need algebra. Yeah. You need to learn how to pay taxes. You need to learn how to budget your money. You need to learn how to, um, like, protect your credit score. Mm-hmm. How do you know what gets covered in tinfoil and what gets covered in plastic wrap? Sure. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like sometimes you cook lasagna and you put tinfoil on it. Sometimes you don't. How do you know? Okay. Um, yeah. You know what? And they took out home ec from a lot of schools. And like that is more useful than dissecting a frog. I don't know because my home ec class, my whole, the whole year, 
I had to make a, oh my gosh, I just remembered Chloe has a project due Monday and I have to put it on a science fair board. Oh, the trifold jammies? Yeah. What, what's it on? It's on a, a historical figure. Jordan just had a project that um, we did. And when I say we did, I mean my wife. Um, and he got to pick any animal he wanted. And do you know what animal he picked? A cheetah. And a waddle. Not a real animal. Nah, that's what I said. And do you know what it looks like? A it lizard. Looks a, kind of. A, like a tadpole dragon. Yeah, that sounds right. Wait, are you trying to say axolotl? Yes. What did I say? Anawaddle? You said anawaddle. Well, axolotl. Same thing. Axolotl is Chloe's favorite animal. <laughs> and this is why the schools need to be fixed. Okay? Do you know what my favorite animal was? It's still a, a monkey. A monkey. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Axolotl. That's not it. Axolotl? It's not waddle. It waddles. It's axolotl. Fuck that animal. Yeah. That so animal. stupid. Um, who made that? Like, that's not even a real word. It is. Axolotl is not a word, real word. Yeah, correct. That is not a real word. But axolotl is. What were we saying before I got distracted about how depressing it is that I have to do a science fair project on my Sunday, which is a day of rest? We were talking about me running Home for health. chili yeah. pepper pants. <laughs> It's not funny. Your face was funny. Okay. Home ec. Yeah. The whole class, the final was, can you make a pair of boxers? And I made them with chili peppers on them. And that's I gave dope. them to my mom as a gift and she loved them. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, but like, what? That's, that is more useful. Yeah. That is more useful than dissecting a frog. Oh, yeah. That was weird. Yeah, and it smelled weird. We dis yeah, dissected a pig. We dissected frogs. I actually have a picture of me licking the pig from high school. That doesn't surprise me. Put it up. <laughs> Onward. Onward. As We're Grandfather Jakery used to say. <laughs> um, I said that at work and nobody had any idea what I was Dang talking about. It. I know. Um, wearing clothes is overrated. Disagree. Love clothes. Really? Love being covered. Yeah. Even if you're home alone. Big fan. Big fan of not having my body even shown. even if you're home alone. When when you were single, when I would come over here, I know that that's a lie. You would always be fully dressed, but there would literally be a trail from your front door. <laughs> there would be one sock, two sock, pants, shirt. So don't give me that. You're not wrong. You're yeah. not wrong. No. Yeah. Showers in the morning are better than showers at night. Disagree. You gotta. I disagree. You have to get the day's filth off of you before you climb into bed. I agree. I used to shower morning and night. Oh, nice. For like my entire life until probably a year ago. If I was a guy, I probably would. Yeah, it's um, it's weird. It's weird to shower that much. All right, so what's your answer? Evening uh, or morning? Evening, definitely evening. Okay. Christmas is the worst holiday. I disagree. Flip. Oh, I strongly disagree. What's the worst holiday? Thank you. The worst holiday? Yep. And if you say Thanksgiving, I'm walking out that door. No, I would never. I know how you feel about Thanksgiving. Okay, cool. Although Thanks. technically. No. There's. On paper. No. The meaning behind Thanksgiving. Well, yeah. Didn't age too well. Is the probably the worst. worst. <laughs> yeah. Um, The worst one, I'd say. No offense, the St. Patrick's Day. Really? Yeah. See, I always, uh, I always like St. Patrick's Day. It just is just green and dumb. Okay. I just. Who was St. Patrick? I don't know. That's why I'm afraid to say that. Yeah, you probably just insulted like a uh, whole entire country. Yep. I was going to say. I don't know what my answer would be. I like all holidays. Yeah, I don't think you can say a holiday without offending somebody. <laughs> yeah, let's cut that. <laughs> yeah. Because I was just going to say Easter, but then it's like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But I was just referring to like. Easter's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I love Easter. No, but it's just, you know. 
Uh, every every year, there's just oh, let's put out all these eggs, and then you get to eggs, and then the, the chocolate's melted, and there's ants everywhere. There was so many <laughs> ants this year. I know. Well, they put the eggs out the night before, and you don't do that. Yeah, you can't do that. All right. Anyway. I bet you that's the ants' favorite holiday. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Um, Simple, yeah. Did you see the Cheer Choice Awards shared our thing? Yes. You did? Yes. You snorting. They shared you snorting mm-hmm, on stage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The time when you were on stage hosting an award show and you snorted and then they reshared it. I just wasn't sure if you had seen Thank that. Thank you. Yes, I did see that. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm going to piss a lot of people off with this. Love it. Beyonce's influence is exaggerated. I've never agreed with anything harder. I think she is the most overrated artist in the history of music. Yes, and listen, that's easy for us to say, because if you asked me to sing one tune, I would shatter glass. It would ruin everybody's life. It would be horrible. No, you can carry a tune. I can't. Yeah, you're good. At, you're really good at mimicking tunes. Yeah. I don't know if like you could naturally sing. No. But like, if I was like, hey... Sing Britney Spears. I knew you were going to say You'd that. kill it. I think my problem is... All right. Yeah. Beyonce, I will never understand. And I know she's got the Bay Hive. I get it. She was she was dope in Destiny's Child. Yeah, that was my favorite era of her. I just don't get it. I don't like her music. And it's just my opinion. And that's okay. I'm There's people who worship the ground she walks on. Love that. There's a lot of people who make fun of my favorite band. And it's we all have different opinions, but I don't get the Beyonce thing. No, it's weird. Yeah. It's weird. I don't know that this could be disputed. Tomatoes are not a fruit. Tomatoes are 1,000% a fruit. I know, but like, should they be? No, I mean, should they be? No, but they are. Because fruit you can eat raw. You can eat tomatoes raw. Yeah, but who does that? Who's All like, kinds of people. I want a snack on it. Oh, yeah, you're right. And salad? <laughs> no, but I mean, like, you don't grab a tomato out of the fridge and bite into it like you would an apple or a pear or no. an orange. Yeah. I mean, you'd peel it first. Wait, Ketchup should be kept in the refrigerator. Well, first and foremost, unpopular opinion, fuck ketchup. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. We're going to talk about unpopular opinions. Flip. Fuck ketchup. Why? I hate it. Oh, what? I hate ketchup. Okay. Hate ketchup. All it's stupid. All right. It's stupid. Do you want to talk about it? I just, I've never, I've never liked it. I will eat it if I am in desperation. Like if I'm dying of starvation and I get like a cheeseburger and it's got ketchup on it, then I will eat it. But no, it's just, it's such a powerful thing. And like, no matter what you put it on, you know what it tastes like? Ketchup. So it's stupid. So you think it's like overpowering the rest of the meal? Yes. It's just, it's dumb. Pepsi is better than Coke. (sighs) I'm 38 years old, 35 years of my life. And yes, that's counting being a newborn. That's... I was a supporter of Coca-Cola. I just, I always thought it tasted better. I always felt that it was crisper and something happened in the past couple of years and I'm team Pepsi now. Whoa. I'm team Pepsi now. No way. Yeah, And I don't even like Coke anymore. Wild. I know. I wish we were around back when Grandpa Jakery was roaming the earth because they actually used to put cocaine in Coca-Cola. I think I've heard that and I didn't know that was true. Yeah. 1,000%. Huh. All right. Ready? Yep. What, What about you? You love Pepsi. I do love Pepsi. Listen, swimming pools serve as bacterial Petri dishes. Can I tell you something super weird? I would love it. We know somebody, and I'll tell you off air, who's looking at purchasing a house right now. Okay. And it's a great deal. A lady's pool has tilapia in it. Okay. First of all, no. 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 Just no. Whose pool? The lady who's selling the house. 
that they're going to buy, that they're wanting to buy. Yeah. They're like, we want to buy this, but there's tilapia. Well, the, no, it doesn't seem to be a problem to this person, but I'm just thinking in my head, no. Wait. Yeah. Is it, It's so it's not a pool. I mean, it's a pool. It's what? a pond. Basically. It has to be, because you can't have chlorine. Mm, yes, which just tells you how long that pool's been untreated. Wait, accidental tilapia? I, I don't think so. I don't think so, but just so many things. This is just a weird a, Can a we weird get a thing. picture? I don't know if I have one. I want a picture of the tilapia pool. Okay. But that just, it, that for some reason, uh, excuse me, freaks me out. It freaks me out. Well, it gives me the heebie jeebies. Not for some reason. Tilapias. In a pool. pool. Yep. Yeah, that's understandable. You know, it was a weird experience. I uh, dated a chick once, and her family lived, like, out east of the interstate, Mayaka. Mm -hmm. And they had a freshwater pond, and I've never seen a pond so clear. You can see straight to the bottom. It was very weird, mm. right? And they had these little fish, little babies fish. And if you put your feet in the water, they would come and nibble at your feet. They have those at salons. Yeah, so weird. I saw a person who lost their foot from that. Ew. Yeah. From a bacterial infection. Yeah. No, that, that, that makes sense. If you think about all the raw feet they're chomping on, mm. all the raw tourist feet. Fish are gross. Whoa. I love fish. Do you know how many of our listeners are fish? Damn. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean that. Oh my me. gosh. But just like, they're just weird. They're weird. How do you feel? And I just had a conversation with my wife about this. I saw a video of a baby crawling around on the ground, and there's like dogs, mm -hmm. right? Like little dogs, not big dogs, little dogs just mm -hmm. roaming around. What, what's your thought on that? Like babies and dogs around each other? I am petrified of dogs around my kids. No, even little baby dogs? Yeah. Petrified, petrified, petrified. Do you petrified. know? Do you know why I'm uh, afraid? Of that scenario, because I feel like, where do dogs go to the bathroom? Outside. And I feel like they can pick up, like, parasites and stuff like that. Right? That's a thing. That's what... It yeah. Because then they're walking around your house, and your little baby, and what's your, what's your baby no, doing? No, that's good for what's their immune system. It's fine. I'm saying they're going to get their faces ripped off. First of all, your cats will eat your kids' faces before a dog. No, they time. won't. Okay. Have you seen how pleasantly plump Rosita is? Yes. I know that if she needs to eat. If you die, a cat will eat you. Your cat will eat your face. She's tired from holding her head up. Listen, so she's laying down right now. I'm so scared of dogs attacking my kids. My sister got attacked by a dog in the face when she was little. My big sister. And it's like traumatized me ever since. And then my friend's toddler just had to get like 150 stitches in his face from an effing family dog and you just never know and it just scares the shit out of me. So like the kid's grandma has three dogs, love her, love the dogs. When I go over there, it gives me so much anxiety watching them jump around the kids because I'm like, they're gonna get their faces. See, no, I'm just thinking about from the gross factor. Nah. Yeah. I don't feel that way. That surprises me. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, no, it doesn't. I feel like if one of them little dogs tried to eat my face, I would punch it so hard in the face. Not yeah, but if you're a baby, you can't punch in the face. Well, your kids aren't babies. I know, but still, I'm just so scared. You just never know with dogs. Even if somebody's like, "Oh, Henrietta would never hurt a fly." Henrietta could be having a bad day and snap. Yeah, at the end of the day, they are animals. Yeah. Mm, interesting. What is a what is an animal? That you would domesticate if it was legal and like not frowned upon. Easy hippopotamus. Yep. But I mean, how cool would that be? Not cool at all. That'd be super cool. Have you seen a hippopotamus flip? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you gonna what? Yeah. Where are you gonna keep it? It's just gonna be like at the foot, of like the couch, and I'm just gonna rest my feet on it. Wait, aren't hippopotamuses super like dangerous? The most killer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you gave me the choice to domesticate any animal, I and I, I want a hippopotamus. Okay. That's all I want. 
there was a really long time where I struggled with saying hippopotamus. Really? Mm -hmm. You're so quick to pass judgment on axolotls. <laughs> touche. Thank you. Are we still going? How do you spell touche? T O U C H fancy squiggle E. Okay. I'm a best selling author, so I know these things. How's your book coming? Shut up. Deodorant really isn't necessary. No, oh, it's necessary. Oh, so necessary. I remember the first time that I noticed I needed deodorant. Like when I was a kid, I was probably like, I don't know, maybe 11, 12, something like that. And I was climbing around the tubes of Chuck E. Cheese. And no matter where I went, I said, what the f*** is this smell? Why is it? It's, it's musky. What is this? I said, God, these tubes stink. I got to get out of here no matter where I went. That's so funny. I went from one side all the way down to the other. I went down the slide. It was mm. still smelling. went in the ball pit. It was still smelling. Couldn't escape. Yeah. And I went home and I told my mom. And she said, boy, get your behind in the shower. It's you. You stink. And I said, huh? I can't picture your mom saying it like that. I said, huh? And she said, yeah, lift up your arm and smell. I said, oh my God. Wow. I know. But isn't deodorant like super bad for you? Like what, the, the aluminum? Some of them are. Yeah, you have to get them with no parabens. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. I'm not, it's not funny. I don't know what you, aluminum I think is bad. I'm learning that everything is trying to kill you. Oh, it is. Every single thing. Everything. <laughs> flip that's why i'm just like whatever dude give me red dye number 40 i don't care i'm going out anyway if it's not that it's gonna be my shampoo and conditioner if it's not that you it's know gonna be I mean? the bluetooth it's yeah. gonna be you know everything we're just screwed yeah that's why i'm just kind of ready for the zombie apocalypse because it's just like we got it coming yeah i agree you know what i found um and i can never remember his last name but there's a dude on youtube his name's hank williams and Nope. And he's a scientist. Eat Panky. <laughs> Thanks for laughing. Took me a minute. Stupid. Um, and he is a scientist dude. And Green. Like, is it Hank Green? Mm. Yeah, I love him. And um, somebody asked a question. And for some reason, I knew this, but like it didn't make sense. But then when you try to think about it, it makes my brain hurt. And it's like the light from distant like galaxies and like planets and stuff like that by the time it gets to us like that is no longer like that if that makes sense no it doesn't make sense by at all. the time the light the light takes to travel to us right it takes so long to travel to us that by the time we're getting the picture that actual like planet or whatever it is has like changed like what we're seeing is in the past for them you following me mm -hmm. and like it was just so like weird to try to think about because then i'm like okay zombie apocalypse these are a few things that are going to happen one fort right we got to have a fort two we need weapons we need medicine we need food yeah. okay so we got the compound, we got the supplies, we're killing zombies, but then what's the next thing? We're not just going to like beat the zombies, they're just going to keep coming. Right. Um, which, would you bone a zombie? I'm sorry? What if you like found like a cute, like Edward the Vampire zombie? You know what I mean? I mean, No. You know, I no. don't even want to bank humans most yeah. of the time. Yeah, that's true. You know but, what I mean? But I like, mean, if it's just, you know what I mean? Like if we're down and it's, that's the majority of the population. No, I'm, I will never be that desperate. <laughs> okay. That's you would? That's interesting. Uh, I mean, I can't, I can't say, you know what I mean? What if I'm going through, what if my, my wife gets eaten and what if I'm heartbroken? And what if some... Yeah, but that's different. What if some kind of zombie chick comes up and is like, hey, like, I know I'm a zombie. Like, I won't bite you. And then I'm like, okay. Like... No, yeah. Flip. I... Uh, 
I mean, don't you think it's different though? Like with a zombie girl versus a zombie guy. No. Yeah, because a zombie girl, first of all, that's, I'm pretty sure that's next. Is it though? Because they're undead. Yeah. You'd want to go in there? I, I'm not saying I'd want to. I'm not saying it's like a thing. I but would not want that in here. You say that now. You say that now until Robert Pattinson is a zombie and he's like, will you be my, what's No, there's a difference between zombies and sexy sparkly vampires, Flip. Zombies are rotting corpses. Uh, well, you know, you have been known to uh, love a good project. <laughs> You're so stupid. Present day me makes good choices, clearly, based on my partner. So. Okay, so you got me off track talking. When you had to bring up bone and zombies. So <laughs> we build a compound supplies, and then you would think, right, we would try to build some sort of transportation off of this rock, right? Off of the earth? Yep. We need a spaceship. Oh, okay. So in addition to trying to survive, we're going to build a spaceship. Well, I've already mapped it out. So Elon Musk is going to be in our compound, right? SpaceX. So we already have an advantage there. Did you know he has 11 children? Yeah, he uh, strongly believes in, uh, he believes people need to have more kids. I mean, that's easy for a quadrillionaire to say. Yeah. You don't know how expensive it is. Okay. God bless it. Sports league. I just got my bill. Yeah. Yeah, kids aren't cheap. But um, so then we'd build a spaceship, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're like, oh, that planet looks cool. Let's travel there. Okay. But by the time we got there. It's gone. It could, it could be gone. Or it could be inhabited by something. I think the, re I mean, by the time we got there. See, this is the stuff that needs to be taught in school. Zombie apocalypse preparation. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Making red hot chili pepper pants. <laughs> yeah. You're not wrong. Zombie protection for intercourse. Should or should you not? Right? right? What precautions do you need to do if you're going right. to, you know, go down that route? What if you got pregnant with a half zombie, half human baby? Yo. Well, you know, uh, what was that Disney? The Disney show, the zombie ones? Zombies. Is that what it was called? <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's taken. We dressed up. I know you did. And she's had birthdays. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but they make the zombies look so cool. Yeah, they do. Right? Yeah. I'm like, yo, I can be friends with a zombie. Yeah, that's a different kind of zombie, though. That's not your average zombie. You, we, we talk about zombies a lot on both your podcasts. I, I talk about it in everything I do. Okay. Yeah, that's very interesting. You should make a shirt. Let's make merch. Let's make zombie. You, you and uh, what's his face? Luke should make zombie merch. A zombie apocalypse merch. That's a good. That's a really good. Idea. I know, and really I will take ten percent for the idea. That's a great idea. Yeah. Do you have any uh, unpopular opinions from your heart? Mine would have been Beyonce. Not. I mean, I'm sure I have like a million. You just can't think of them. I was yeah, just thinking you that just put too. me on the spot. Yeah, I have a million of them too that are unpopular, but I can't think of any of them. That is, uh, well, I don't think that. I think it's okay to ignore people. We know. And not necessarily ignore, but like, I think it's okay if, you know, while you're being repeatedly punched in the face with information, flying a million miles an hour, that is today's world, that if you happen to forget to text somebody back, like, that's okay. I think, um, and we're just hypothetical here, right? Let's say you take somebody and we'll just call them Biffany, right? So we got this person named Biffany, right? Mm -hmm. And we have this dude and we'll call him Clip, okay? Okay. So Biffany and Clip are friends, right? Mm -hmm. And Biffany um, will text Clip and if no matter what time... If Clip doesn't respond in 2.3 seconds, then it's, okay, never mind. Um, that was a dumb idea. Um, I'm stupid. Uh, just don't worry about it. I got it. I, I get it taken care of. And it's 3.30 in the morning. 
And Clip's sleeping because Clip's tired, Mm -hmm. right? But then Clip could text Biffany in the middle of the day and like, hey, I'm cooking dinner tonight. What would you like to eat? And Biffany responds next Tuesday, you know? So if that in that type of situation, I think that like Clip just maybe feels that way because if Biffany doesn't get a response mm-hmm. in a fair amount of time, right? You know what I mean? You know, and that's just I mean purely hypothetical. Yeah, and it just in, from what you've said, yeah. it sounds to me like Clip has set the precedence for Blippany, Bliffany. Yeah. Spliffany, as they called her in high school. Spliffany? Yeah. Whoa. Uh, Dang. Clip has kind of set that precedence. Like, I will answer. I will respond quickly. Yeah. So perhaps when Spliffany contacts Clip and Clip doesn't respond, then it's like, whoa, this is weird because Clip always responds. Yeah. Whereas if you don't set that precedence. Yeah then people just kind of expect not to hear from you. I think that's the big thing. Expectations. Expectations are mofo. Oh, they ruin everything. Everything. Yeah, literally. Yeah, they're the worst. Yeah. But why do we do it? I go through life with no expectations. That's why I never get anything done. (laughs) You have different expectations, though. You don't have expectations of like, Hey, like if I call my friend, I need my friend to call me back in a reasonable amount of time. Or, hey, if I do this nice act for my friend, I expect that in return. When it comes to those types of expectations, you have none. But you do expect everything around you to kill you at any point in time. Oh, that's so true, Flip. (laughs) Maybe that's why I don't have regular expectations because I'm spending them all Mm. on imminent death. But if you think about it, everything around us it could and will kill us. Yeah, it is. At any moment. We're dying. Isn't that weird? <laughs> that just took a turn. Isn't that weird? It is. And uh, so de- excuse me. I'm really sorry, everyone. I'm not sorry. Yeah, we know. I'm not even a little sorry. I don't know how to sit like a lady. I'm trying to sit in a way that's flattering, but I look like I'm on the toilet. Yeah. You're not supposed to agree with me. Well, I, I just looked and I'm like, yep, yeah, no, she could totally be just dropping a deuce right now. I look like a sumo wrestler. No. In my head, I'm like, this is a sexy pose. And then I. <laughs> <laughs> I was just talking to um, our, our friend <laughs> Hannah, who's going to be on the show. Love. And um, she was telling me, she was asking me about the red carpet. And she said, you know, like when I was out in L.A., like they have like classes for like red carpet posing because it's like a thing. And I said, that makes sense. And she said, why did you say that? I said, because you should have seen Tiffany on the red carpet trying to pose. It was my first time. It was magical. I was really nervous and I'm so upset I didn't put my hands in the pockets of my dress because my dress had pockets. I know, such an elegant dress, fucking pockets. How cool is that? So cool. I should have kept my vape in there. Dope and functional. Dunctional. There it is. Fope. Yep. Is that it? It was 5555 when I looked down. No way. Um, I don't know. I was just looking at the camera. Oh, because you said, and that's, that's what you usually say when you're ready to wrap it up. And that's that. That's not what you said, though. That's not you expected me to say that i did do you want to read a couple more yep this is gonna be one that really grinds your gears cheese ruins a good dish that's just stupid that's not an opinion that's a what a false fact getting ahead at any cost is what matters getting head at any no, cost. No, no, no not getting head at any cost getting ahead getting ahead At any cost. So like if I wanted to get ahead, like screwing you over, you know what I mean? To get Get ahead. Yeah, not get ahead. ahead. Not a space head. Yes. I was like, murder? (laughs) Decapitation? That's not what I thought you said. No, no, no. At first I thought dirty time. Yeah, because you're still thinking about zombies. Getting a head. Yeah. And I was like, getting a head, like heads will roll. Like, 
dude, my brain's not working. No, I disagree. Yeah, of course. You do? Strongly disagree. Oh, you read it like you were going to agree. No. no, I was thrown off because I said getting ahead at any cost in your response. <laughs> the glass isn't half full, it's half empty. Agreed. Old pessimistic. <laughs> Pamela. Pessimistic Pamela. Most people lie. Yes, everybody. And you're going to hell, all of you. I always, listen, I, I'm going to say this. I'm a terrible liar. The worst. So I. So bad at it. I try not to lie that much. But if I do, I ask for forgiveness immediately. You don't have to because you are so talented and you do so many things really, really well. Lying is not one of them. So you don't even have to apologize because you look so silly. You look so silly when you do it, which is a admirable quality to not be able to lie. You know what I mean? Yeah. That like was... you just give it away. Okay. I didn't used to be like that. When I was in active addiction, I was the best liar you've ever met. No. So what good. if I'm still a great liar and I just pretend to be a bad liar so that I could actually lie and people think if she was lying, we would know. That would be so cool. Huh? Yeah. So, I mean, it's not true. But Because you're so bad at it. I like how you said I'm good at a lot of things, though. That made it hurt less. Yeah. Thank well, you. I mean, but do you want to be good at lying? Yes. Why? I don't know. I just feel like there's something mysterious and sexy about being a good liar. Like those scam artists, this Tinder swindler. The Tinder swindler. That was wild. That was wild. Did you watch the one about the girl who talked funny? <laughs> that was, I would say that's mean, but it's not mean because she faked like a bunch of accents. So they all kind of. Oh, the one that like would go into banks and stuff yeah. and like, yeah, 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 yeah. I never watched that. I didn't either. It had the girl from. Uh... Yeah. The. Ozark. Yeah. If you want to stop me, you're going to have to fucking kill me. Did you ever see that? Was that from the Ozark? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we have to come up with our own unpopular opinion. No, this is going to ruffle too many feathers. Perfect. I'll do it. I think filters are ruining the world. Ah. Ah. That's my unpopular opinion. I feel like ruining the world is extreme, but I definitely think that they're ruining... The world. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay. When you think of the world, what do you think of? Do you just think of like pieces of land or do you think of people? Pieces of land. That's what you think about. When I think of the world? Yep. Yeah, I think of like water and land okay. and people. I, I, I primarily think of people right because without the people i mean it's just a spinning rock right it's still the world it's still the world but nobody's here to call it the world okay right and i think that filters it has a trickle effect oh yeah right because then you have people that are looking at these pictures and comparing comparing feeling bad about themselves. I need to be prettier. I need to be younger. I need to be skinnier. I need to be more muscular. I need to be taller, whatever the case is, right? Mm -hmm. Which in turn is causing... Unrealistic. Unrealistic expectations, mm -hmm. right? Um, I think that that is why we've seen a drastic increase in mental health issues. Mm. I think that's why we've seen a drastic rise in... People unaliving themselves. Mm. And I think that it's stupid. Wow. And so it's going to ruin the world. I agree with you, Flip. I agree with you. I 100% agree with you. That when I, Whenever I pose a picture with filters, using a filter, I put in the caption, this is a filter, swipe to see the original. <laughs> so that people could know. Like, yeah. 
the f- I don't even like putting a filter on like when I take a picture of food, even though some of the filters like would make some of the colors pop more. Mm-hmm. I don't even put a filter on the food because I feel like I'm not being truthful. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's just... Uh, and it's always nice because people in real life are like, wow, you're so much prettier in person. Uh, and that I'm like, that's because I put my real face out uh, on the internet. You know what I mean? And then I don't have to pretend. Well, we know people that like... If we didn't know them and we just saw their pictures on social media and then we saw them in person, I'd be like, hi, I've never seen your face before. I know who you're talking about and I, I, you know, I disagree. No. I don't see it. I don't see that big of a difference. I really don't. I've heard people say it, but I don't see it. That's your own popular opinion. Yeah. Because <laughs> boy, oh boy, is it obvious. <laughs> Glaringly obvious. Not to me. It looks like, um, have you seen Tangled, the Disney movie? No. So it's about Rapunzel. I know. And it's the haggard old witch, right? And then she brushes the hair and Rapunzel sings and then she is young. That's the filter. Young, pretty lady. And then shows up and it's this old haggard lady. Stop it right now, Flippard. That's not nice. It's true, though. Do you want to hear my unpopular opinion? It's going to I would love, love get to. me canceled. Yes. I've been waiting for it. I would like to preface this with I have lost all three parents to cancer. Oh. I hope you, you're going to say what I think you're going to say. Well, that's a lot of pressure, but I think that they have a cure. Yes! I knew it. They most certainly do, but it's too much of a moneymaker. And that is devastating. That is so disgusting. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's like the thing. So talk about getting ahead at any cost, right? Like, I cannot understand how you can sleep with yourself at night. Mm -hmm. Like how can you, listen, I was in active addiction and like I screwed over a small handful of people and I am not proud of it. Mm -hmm. And I let my family down and I let myself down and I lost myself and there was so long, I couldn't even look at myself in the mirror. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I didn't, I didn't take a life. Right. I didn't, you know what I mean? Make a bunch of money off poor sickly people Mm -hmm. and um like it was hard for me to be able to live with myself Mm. like oh god that one that's it i'm running for presidents yeah i uh my mom died of cancer at 46 Mm. do you mind if i ask what kind lung cancer and then uh my dad died of cancer liver Um, early sixties. And then my stepdad died of prostate cancer at 55. And prior to and following, I've done so much of my research trying to figure out like how, the f- how? Yeah. Yeah. Like how can we build something that can see something light years away You know what I mean? Like, how can we send a robot to a planet, like, millions of miles away to, like, drive around and get core samples and send it back? And we can't. I just feel, do you know what it is for me? If they can create human life in a tube, Uh why can't they get this shit out of our bodies? And I'm not saying the doctors are in on it. I'm not, like, doing conspiracy theory, but I think that there has been a solution proposed and perhaps it was brushed under the rug for financial purposes. Yeah. That's too much of a moneymaker. And that's my unpopular opinion. And, um, I don't really care if anybody agrees or not. Um, and honestly, like people, there's lots of arguments for both sides of why that's not possible and why it is possible. And it's just my thoughts based on things I've seen with my eyes and experienced with my heart and my brain that there's more to it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I think it's population control. 
Listen, let's not get... Let, Where's my tinfoil? Let's not get into anything else. I said it. I wasn't going to say it. I said it. Sorry if you're mad at me. I hope that you can still love me. Sometimes we think things and they're wrong. And of course, I don't know the first thing about science. I could, I'm a scientist, so... I could be wrong, but that's my opinion, is that there has to be some kind of solution. They just don't want us to have it because of... You know, I heard uh, cannabis stops the cancer cells from multiplying. Is that true? I don't know. I That's... mean, are there studies or anything? Um, I do. If so, that would make sense why they want to outlaw them. Mm -hmm. There's a guy who's been in prison for, I think, 42 years for less than an eighth of weed. That's wild. Yeah. I would be so mad. Um, can we end on this? I was... Locked up in Middlesex County Jail. Shout out New Jersey. Um, and they had a guy in there. Super max, like crazy. Nicest guy on the planet. If you saw him walking down the street, you're like, oh, look at that. He's just like a, a big, festively plump individual with glasses looks like he couldn't harm a fly he was one of the top research scientists for johnson and johnson and he decapitated a hooker and i didn't know that and i played basketball with him i'm sorry this so yep there's that put it in a crock pot um so there's that that's what you wanted to end on yeah Talk about science and stuff. That's what I think about. Here's my question. Yep. Did he? Uh, most certainly. He's a researcher for Johnson & Johnson. Yep. And he uh, uh, apparently had a thing for cocaine and hookers. He admitted this to you? Well, I mean, he was already, like, found guilty. He was just there, like, getting some other stuff run concurrent. And so they used to bring him into our pod to play basketball. I don't want to end on that. In a crock pot. Why? I have questions. I mean, I do too. I, let's end on d a delicious crock pot meal. If you put uh, pork, I don't know what the name of the pork is that you shred for pulled pork. What's that called? I mean, you probably use a pork shoulder. Okay. Pork shoulder. And then you put root beer on top of it. Okay. And then you let it cook for eight hours. Just root beer and pork shoulder. Best pulled pork you'll ever have. That is the unpopular opinion that you're. No, that's on? a well known fact. Okay. I have questions. One, I feel <laughs> that if I gave you $100 to go f pick out a crock pot and I had a lineup of appliances, <laughs> I don't think that you could successfully pick out the crock pot. That's hurtful okay um second i feel like this information probably came from an outside source i.e your boyfriend and i'm surprised you would eat pork i didn't i just was trying to think of the easiest crock pot recipe i could think of and i was saw that, that even real did you just make that up i didn't make it up Google it, Flip. It's a real thing, and it's delicious. And I made do, it once. Uh, chicken breasts and some cream cheese and some ranch seasoning. Crack. Yeah. Crack chicken. Yeah. Whammon. If you guys try the pork root beer recipe, let me know in the comments. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please, for the love of God, don't. Google it. I don't believe you. It's so good. You haven't even eaten it. I've heard it's really good. Anyway, um, here's the thing. We do this podcast every week. Sometimes we have great ideas. Sometimes we just roll with it. Sometimes we have guests once. All have, next month. All next month we're having guests, you guys. We're going to talk to a licensed clinical social worker who specializes in trauma therapy. Love it. A guy who decapitated a hooker. Just kidding. Cut that. You can't call them hookers, first of all. You're not supposed to call him that. I just realized that. As soon as it came out of my mouth, it felt so Pro wrong. Prostitute? Is that? I think lady of the night. Is that politically correct? 
That was a good call. But back. but is that like how you I don't know. use it correctly? Okay, anyway. Ladies of the night, how would you like us to refer to you? <laughs> <laughs> um, we have a occupational therapist who works with specifically mm. with children with autism. Yes. Um, we have our friend Hannah coming on who you'll find out about. Yep, because I can never say it. I really want Donald to get back to us. Yep, Donald Glover's coming on the show. That's I'm not it. So excited no. about Angels in the Outfield. No. Um, but either way, make sure that you follow us on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook. Yeah. Please, on each of those. If you could, just take a second. Go click it. It, yeah. ma- it really makes us look cool, and it helps us out a lot. Leave us a review if you like the show, wherever you listen to show the show. I got five reviews. I'm so happy for you. Make sure you follow Flip yep. at, at flip.adam. Yep. Is that where it is everywhere? Couldn't tell you. Cool. Just look up Flip Adam. Yeah. Um, and if you want to join our Patreon and see all the stuff that didn't make the episode, all of that is going to be linked in the description below. We love you so much. Yeah, we do. I almost forgot. What? Oh, God. Was that a chupacabra? Sorry. That was intense. It was really loud in my own ears, but I couldn't stop because it was happening so fast. Between the blinding light and now the piercing noise. I'm so sorry. That's okay. We love you guys. Yes, me especially. Yep. Bye. You didn't hit record. You're lying? No.